You're watching a video online right now, and you're not even plugged in. No cables, no wires, just invisible waves zipping through the air, carrying cat videos, emails, and conspiracy documentaries straight into your screen. But pause for a moment. How exactly does that happen? How does a YouTube video, a text, or a meme travel through thin air from your router to your phone in less than a blink? It's one of those modern miracles we use daily, but rarely question. We just expect it to work until it doesn't. So today, let's slow down the speed of light and peer into the invisible highways that make wireless internet possible. In other words, how does Wi-Fi actually send data? Right here on History of Simple Things. Before Wi-Fi, your computer had to be tethered to the internet, like a dog on a leash. Thick Ethernet cables were the veins of connectivity, running between walls and desks, connecting machines in what looked more like an office spider web than a tech setup. The idea of accessing the web from the couch, kitchen, or bathroom was as absurd as streaming a movie on a toaster. But engineers wanted freedom, data without the leash. The roots of Wi-Fi stretch back to the 1940s when radio engineers learned how to send signals through the air using electromagnetic waves. Decades later, in 1997, the first standardized form of Wi-Fi, called IEE 802.11, was born. It wasn't fast, it wasn't even stable, but it was wireless, and that changed everything. Wi-Fi isn't some mysterious cloud floating around your home. It's a clever use of radio waves, just like those used for FM radio, baby monitors, and walkie-talkies. The Y in Wi-Fi doesn't actually mean wireless fidelity, as people think. It's just a marketing name. But it represents a system that allows electronic devices to talk to each other using radio signals instead of cables. These signals are part of the electromagnetic spectrum, the same family that includes visible light, X-rays, and microwaves. Your Wi-Fi operates in frequencies between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, much higher than FM radio, meaning it can carry more data per second. But here's where the real magic begins. Wi-Fi doesn't just broadcast sound, it encodes information. Imagine you're trying to send a photo to your friend. That photo is really just a bunch of ones and zeros, a digital language of binary code. Your computer takes those ones and zeros and converts them into radio waves by slightly altering the signal's characteristics, its frequency, amplitude, or phase. These changes form a pattern like musical notes encoding a secret song only your router understands. This is called modulation. When your computer transmits data, it doesn't shout it out like a radio DJ. It whispers a tightly controlled signal, adjusting each microscopic wave to represent digital information. These modulated waves travel through the air at nearly the speed of light until your router or another device picks them up and decodes them back into data. So when you send that photo, what's really flying through the air is a symphony of invisible waves, each vibrating billions of times per second, carrying bits of digital light from one machine to another. Your router is the unsung hero of the wireless world. It's not just a signal box, it's a translator, traffic cop, and air traffic controller rolled into one. When your phone requests a video, the router grabs that data from the internet through your wired connection, usually fiber or DSL, then converts it into radio waves to broadcast across your home. Every Wi-Fi device has a unique identifier called a MAC address, and your router keeps track of them all. It knows which signal belongs to your phone, your smart TV, or that suspicious fridge that somehow needs an internet connection. 
Like a mail sorter, it delivers each packet of data to the right recipient while managing interference, distance, and speed limits. You've probably noticed your Wi-Fi has two bands, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. These numbers represent the frequency of the radio waves and each has its quirks. The 2.4 GHz band has longer wavelengths, which means it travels farther and can penetrate walls more easily. But it's also crowded, since microwaves, Bluetooth devices, and baby monitors use it too. The 5 GHz band offers faster speeds and less interference, but shorter range. It's a trade-off between distance and data rate, and modern routers automatically balance both bands to give you the best connection. In newer systems like Wi-Fi 6, multiple devices can even talk simultaneously without stepping on each other's signals. A digital dance choreographed with mathematical precision. Since Wi-Fi signals travel through the air, anyone within range could technically listen in. To prevent that, Wi-Fi encrypts your data before sending it. Modern standards like WPA3 scramble the bits using complex mathematical keys, making them unreadable to outsiders. Even if someone intercepts the waves, all they'll get is digital gibberish, unless they possess the correct decryption key, which is what your password unlocks. Wi-Fi has evolved faster than most people realize. The first version in 1997 barely reached 2 megabits per second, slower than a dial-up connection. Today, Wi-Fi 6 and the upcoming Wi-Fi 7 can exceed several gigabits per second, rivaling wired Ethernet. This leap comes from smarter modulation, multiple antennas, called MIMO technology, and more efficient ways of splitting and timing the signal. What once carried a few emails per second can now stream 8K video, run VR headsets, and manage entire smart homes, all without a single cable. But Wi-Fi's story doesn't end here. Engineers are already experimenting with Li-Fi, using beams of light instead of radio waves to transmit data at breathtaking speeds. Meanwhile, Wi-Fi 7 promises near zero latency, enabling real-time control for robots, cars, and augmented reality. The air around you is slowly becoming an invisible web of data highways, overlapping and intertwining, each one carrying the pulse of the modern world. So next time you open a browser, stream a movie, or send a message, remember, you're not just using technology. You're tapping into one of the most elegant systems humans have ever built. Data dances invisibly through your walls, encoded in vibrations of pure energy, decoded by machines that never sleep. From binary bits to electromagnetic waves, it's a story of physics, math, and genius engineering all condensed into something we casually call Wi-Fi. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.